Hi everybody, uh, <clears throat> here we go then for uh, flow concentrating on the twisties. Okay, the uh, one that massages all of the organs in the body, helps the immune system. Um, yeah, and you should feel nicely lightened by the time we've finished uh, this one. Uh, <clears throat> we're going to start by just settling everything down. So come into a comfortable sitting position, nice straight spine, either kneeling, cross-legged, even in a chair whatever's comfortable for you, okay, as long as your spine is straight. Close your eyes and then feel through your body. Just identify how it's feeling today, okay. Focus on the muscles in your face, first of all. So feel your forehead. Relax the muscles in your forehead and your eyes, cheeks, mouth, even your tongue. Okay, just allow your tongue to lull in your mouth. Allow it just to settle up against your front teeth or your teeth. Uh, so feel all those muscles and then relax them. Feel the weight of your head. Bring it into nice balance over your shoulders. Allow your upper arms to hang down from your shoulders. Bring your hands to wherever that allows them to be. So your shoulders are level slightly back. Okay, feel the uh, angle of the spine up into your head. Okay, just tuck the chin in slightly and feel the change in the angle. It helps it just to align it slightly and then follow the root of your spine all the way down to your pelvis okay and press into your sit bones and lift through your spine crown of the head lifted so you're as upright as you can be feel the muscles in your uh, low back and pelvis and those into your thighs particularly and all of those fascia points around your hips okay soften everything soften and relax even if you can't fully release them okay just soften them down your thighs those really big muscles of your thighs front back sides and then from your knee all the way down your low leg to your feet okay feel your feet okay so try and tune in to the heels, the arches, the soles, the toes. Okay, so really feel them. And then just give your toes a bit of a wiggle. That really sort of completes the connection. And then settle into your breath and your breathing. Remembering to continue to scan your body so that it's nicely relaxed. And when we go through our breath retentions, try not to introduce tension back into your body. Okay, so keep it relaxed. Okay, just take two or three nice, steady, deep inhales and exhales through your nostrils just to replenish everything, get rid of anything the body doesn't need that's nestled in the lower part of your lungs. Feel the oxygen or air press into the top part of your lung as you inhale. So try and expand just below your shoulder girdle to the upper reaches of your lungs. Brently push the belly out on the inhale. Allow it to naturally fall, squeeze your belly towards your spine, pull your diaphragm up towards your rib cage. Okay, really squeeze everything out. So two or three natural deep breaths, focusing on that movement. And then on the next inhale, a nice deep inhale with a retention. So hold the breath at the top. Just appreciate that stillness in your body as you hold the breath. Release under control through your nostrils, allowing everything to fall, squeezing, just lightly engaging those abdominal muscles, squeezing everything inwards before releasing them, relaxing them into another steady deep inhale with a retention. Release again, nice and steady. Final deep inhale with a retention. And then release nice and steady, nice and gentle. <clears throat> and then just return to your normal breaths, equal breathing, breathing in and out, your normal natural breath. 
open your eyes, take a soft focus on the floor in front of you and just get used to having your eyes open again and drink everything in in your peripheral vision. Okay, so become aware of everything. And then as you do that, hold the gaze, bring the arms out to the side, palms facing up. Okay, extend the arms gently away from you so we feel that energy from the shoulders all the way to the end of your fingertips. Bring them up to the top and then you can release the gaze, looking at your fingertips, give them a bit of a wiggle, softly extending sides of your bod. Okay, nice deep breath in here. And then nice and slowly, we're going to twist to the right hand side, bring the arms down in line. <coughs> okay, try not to allow one to go further forward or further back than the other. Twist around to that right hand side. Inhale as you come back up. Extending, exhaling, opening, twisting. Use the exhale to the twist. Okay, so as you exhale, squeeze the twist. As you inhale, come back. One more either side. Exhale, squeezing that twist. Really feel your core muscles as you come round to that twist using that breath. Exhale, final time, squeezing the breath out. Squeeze those core muscles inwards. Inhale, come back up. This time, right hand comes to the floor. Press into it, soften the elbow, and then extend all the way through that left hand side. Push the arms away, extend, and then just gently pull that upper shoulder back Okay, feel that stretch all the way aside and then breathe into that left rib cage. Okay, allow the shoulder to roll forward. Okay, and feel the stretch move as you push the hand away to the QLs, those big muscles just at the back below your ribs. And then nice and slowly as you inhale, come back, flow to the other side, so hand comes to the floor. Soften the elbow, press in. Stretch away. Okay, you can walk that hand out even further if you want to, if it feels right, but don't worry about it if it doesn't. Okay, press the hand away, pull that shoulder gently back, breathe into the right rib cage, pushing those ribs away. Okay, you really feel the expansion between your ribs as you do that. Allow the shoulders to roll forward, feel the stretch move, press the hand away or the arm away. Inhale, come back up. Press the fingers up to the ceiling. Okay, then bring the arms down in front of you. Okay, palms face to the floor. Okay, push the fingers away, extend shoulder blades, and then tilt the hands up, okay? So try and keep the hands straight into your fingers. Okay, and pull the fingertips or the fingernails back towards your head, okay? Push the butt of your wrists away from you. Okay, and then feel the separation in your shoulder blades. Okay, nice and slowly tilt the hands down the way, pull, pull them back towards your bod, keep the hands straight. Turn the hands out the way, moved a bit quick there, but just do it slowly so you can feel. Okay, that's it. And then come back downwards and then in towards one another. And then open them like doors, straighten them. Okay, turn them palms down, tilt them back up and then turn them out the way. Come back, okay, and then <coughs> what we're going to do is just, um, I don't know what you call this really, but just um, like a duck's beak, okay, <laughs> like a quacking duck, there you go, quacking duck, okay, so we're just doing that as sort of hard as we can, really engaging the fingers, okay, now keep it going, keep breathing, okay, because you need to get the breath or the oxygen to your fingers up to the top, come back down, out to the sides. Come back to the front <coughs> and then stop, squeeze your fists, make your knuckles white as you press your hands away and then at last release your hands to your thighs, relax your shoulders, okay? Just allow them to flop, okay? Keep that nice extension in the spine and then as you inhale, squeeze the shoulders, shoulders only coming up towards the ears, squeeze them, feel the muscles either side of your neck into your uh, chest engage, take a breath in, <sighs> release, you can breathe out through your mouth, inhale, squeeze back up, hold the squeeze, take a breath in, <sighs> release, just languish, it sort of makes a little tickle, or little sort of chill up the spine when I sort of release. Uh, last time, inhale, squeeze shoulders, release. <sighs> 
just languish for a couple of moments. Okay, hands on thighs, start to rotate through your low back, low spine. Okay, feel it in your hips as you rotate. Okay, nice and slowly at first. As you come forward, you can push into your hands, into your thighs or your knees, wherever, you're, wherever you are. Okay, start to increase the rotation. Feel how that changes things in your pelvis, hip area. Feel everything. Slow down, come back the other way. Okay, nice big rotations. And then slow down. And come back to sitting position. Release your legs, our last. <coughs> okay, get rid of any blocks you may be on. Uh, okay, engage the muscles of the legs, push the heels away, flex the feet, spread the toes. Okay, so full engagement, press the backs of the knees to the floor. Push into your sit bones. Arms out to the sides, <clears throat> okay, press the fingers up to the ceiling, staff pose, okay, extend the sides of the body, be as tall as you can, full engagement of the bod, nice deep breath in, as you exhale, palms facing the feet, <clears throat> coming forward, okay, you can bend the knees if um, that allows you to bring your chest closer to your thighs, okay, but just feel it in your hamstrings, and then whatever you grabbed hold of, uh, sort of you can help it to flex the feet, Start to straighten your legs, feel it in your hamstrings, hold in that juicy position, relax your head and neck, and then just breathe. Close your eyes, feel everything, and breathe. Soften everything, move a little bit deeper into the pose if it feels right. Final breath in, release, <coughs> come back up. Okay, and then <coughs> bending your left leg first of all, bring it um, towards your board. Now, you can either hold it here or if it's comfortable, cross it over. Okay, from that position, wrap your left arm around that knee and then bring your other arm around behind you. Okay, if it's comfortable, you can bring that uh, elbow over. Okay, <coughs> and you can use the elbow on the knee to help the twist. Okay, lift up to the crown of the head. Okay, nice straight spine. Allow the body to naturally twist. Take a breath in. As you exhale, twisting from the waist up, last thing round is your head. Use the leverage of elbow on your uh, knee, or if you're wrapping your arm around, squeeze to help the twist. As you inhale, soften the twist, come back. Use the exhale to enhance the twist. Inhale, final time, and then come back, nice and slowly. Okay, we're going to stay with the same leg, um, swap over. So again, wrap the other arm around or bring the elbow around. Okay, feel the difference. Uh, it should be a little bit more intense this side as we're twisting into that uh, hip. Okay, so allow the body to naturally lift. Nice deep breath in. As you exhale, twisting from the waist up, lasting rounds head, use the leverage elbow into the knee. As you exhale, inhale, come back, exhale, Use the exhale, inhale, come back, exhale, final time, come all the way around. Well done. Okay, straighten, a bit of a wiggle before we swap over. Again, feel the difference one side to the other. Again, if it's more comfortable, keep the foot there. Otherwise, if you can, cross it over. <coughs> Try and stay upright within your spine, wrapping that left arm around this time, other arm around behind you. Okay, so we're going the opposite way first this time. If that's comfortable, try that. Okay, allow the body to naturally twist wherever it is. Take a breath in, pull the belly in away from the thigh if it's impinging. And then as you exhale, twisting from the waist up, using the leverage. As you inhale, soften, come off the twist. As you exhale, increase it. Final time, inhale, coming back. And then coming back nice and slowly, swap over. Okay, either wrap that arm around, bring the elbow across, lift up, nicely breath in, exhale, twisting, using the leverage, inhale, come back, exhale, squeeze, leverage, inhale, come back, exhale, leverage. Okay, well done, come back. Give your legs a bit of a wobble. 
Okay, bring the hands around behind you, bring the feet to the edges of the mat, and then we're just going to windscreen wiper the knees. Okay, you can lift that hip as you roll the knees across, just to enable the knees to go further. Again, feeling as you do so. Feeling in your bod. Okay, three times either side. Beautiful. And then sweep your uh, knees around. And come into <coughs> our kneeling position. Tabletop. Okay, neutral tabletop. Okay, so knees underneath hips, wrists underneath shoulders. Tops of the feet in contact with the floor, pressing down through all six points, looking down at the mat, pull your belly towards your spine, supporting your low back. Okay, breathe nice and steadily as you press down through all six points, squeezing the pelvic floor muscles. For the guys, squeeze the muscle that stops you weeing. Okay, so as you inhale, squeeze the pelvic floor up towards the rib cage or squeeze that muscle. Hold on the inhale as you hold the breath. As you exhale, release, release the squeeze. Inhale again, squeeze the pelvic floor. Hold, squeeze, release, soften everything. Final time, inhale, squeeze the pelvic floor, hold. Final time, and then release. Okay, bring your weight to your left hand release the right twisting up okay nice deep breath in as you exhale bring that right arm down fold it underneath your left armpit right shoulder right side of the head to the floor and then walk your left arm straight out towards the top of the mat okay remember to engage slightly the side of the head so that your neck doesn't collapse down okay keep it nicely aligned and then walk that left hand out stretch it Press into the arm that's on the floor and allow your torso to twist. Breathe. Okay, bring that left arm vertically upwards and then wrap it. Try and tickle your right thigh. Final time. And then bring that left arm around, press it down in front of you. Come back up to tabletop. Okay, take a couple of moments before we Bring the left arm up, twisting on the mat side, arm in line if you can, nice deep breath in, and then exhaling, threading that left arm underneath your right armpit, left shoulder to the floor, side, left side of the head. Okay, just get nicely balanced, comfortable. Walk the right hand away towards the top of the mat, press into that arm that's in the floor, and allow your torso to twist. Feel it, allow it to twist, breathe, Stretch that right arm away, bring that right arm up, wrap it around, tickle the top of your left thigh if you can, open that shoulder, breathe, nice and slowly, right hand in front of the face, press in, come into tabletop, we're going to go into downward dog, okay, so hands to the top of the mat, uh, <coughs> tuck toes and straighten the legs, and come into downward dog position okay so bending the knees allow your uh, bum to move towards your bottom of the mat okay so that aligns your front half backs nicely flat feel it and then start to straighten your legs bring your heels towards the floor until your hamstrings tell you to stop that's fine okay just hold for those couple of moments Gently pressing the heels to the floor, pushing the backs of the knees away, and breathing. Okay, nice and slowly, coming into three-legged downward dog, so nothing else changes. Lifting that right leg, okay, bring it up as high as you can, push the heel away, flex the foot, spread the toes. Okay, nice deep breath in. As you exhale, we're going to bend that knee, and then float forward, squeeze that right knee towards the right elbow. Core compression, point the toes, squeeze everything up, inhale, come back. Extend everything, take a breath in, exhale, coming down this time, knee, try and bring it as close to your right wrist as you can, squeeze, point the toe, inhale, come back up, 
Okay, take a breath in. As you exhale, bend the knee, gently twist through the body. Right knee towards left elbow this time. Squeeze everything forward. Inhale, come back. Lift everything up. Extend. Heel away, flex foot, spread toes. Take a breath in, squeeze bum. Exhale, bend knee. Twist to the left wrist this time. Squeeze. Come back up. Okay, extend everything away and then release into downward dog. A couple of moments in downward dog and then release knees to the floor, bum to heels, forearms, forehead to the floor and just relax down into child pose. Ujjayi breathing, focusing on the breath, the feeling in your body after uh, that move, that asana, four point downward dog move. Okay, let's just prepare ourselves for the other side. Breathing, releasing, softening. Final breath. And then release, coming back up into your downward dog. Hands to the top of the mat, tuck toes, straighten legs. Okay, you probably know how to get into your comfortable downward dog position, thinking about the feeling in your body, aligning your back nice and flat if you can make it, heels towards the floor, don't worry if they don't touch. Okay, swapping over then, left legs lifted into three-legged downward dog, push the heel away, flex foot, spread the toes, squeeze the left bum. Okay, nice deep breath in. As you exhale, bend the knee, roll forward, shoulders over the backs of the hands, squeeze the left knee towards the left elbow, point the toe, Inhale, come back up, extend everything away, breathe in, exhale, bending left knee, okay, this time left wrist, point toe, inhale, come back, extend everything upwards, take a breath in, exhale, bend knee, this time gently twisting, okay, left knee to right elbow, squeeze, inhale, come back up. Extend everything away, squeeze the bum, take a breath in, exhale, bend knee, twisting, rolling forward, knee to wrist. Inhale, come back up. Extend everything away, bring your foot to the floor, return to our downward dog position, knees to the floor, bum to heels, come into child pose, relax everything down. Soften, breathe, and feel through your body. It should feel nicely balanced, having done those two moves. Breathe nice and steadily. Okay, as we inhale, coming back up into our downward dog position. And then bending the knees, we're going to push on our hands, pushing back to our forward fold position. Okay, grabbing hold of the elbows, bending the knees as much as you need to, chest down towards thighs. Okay, but just try and release, soften that low back, gently sway from side to side as you breathe. And then release the arms, bring the uh, left hand to the center, fingertips or palms, fine, feel through your own body. And then release the right arm, coming up, twisting, stretching that arm away. If you're trying to bring the back of the hand over as far as you can, don't ever do it. Take a breath in. As you exhale, release that hand, replace right with left. Inhale, coming the other way. You feel the difference from side to side. Release, coming back. Bending the knees, nice strong backs. Arms out to the sides, coming up into raised arm pose, looking up to the ceiling, wiggling the fingers, take a breath in, extending everything away, gaze to the horizontal. Nice deep breath in here. As you exhale, coming down into chair pose, okay, bending the knees, okay, <clears throat> bum towards heels, oh sorry, bum towards ground weight into the heels, that's what I meant to say. Okay, arms 
uh, in line with your torso. You're slightly angled forward because you're tilting at the hip. Feel your pelvis, okay? Make sure there's no tension there. If there is, just try and scoop the pelvis a little bit. Feel where it feels good. Okay, feel it in your thighs. Nice deep breath in. Bring your palms together, okay? Uh, forearms vertical. Sorry, forearms horizontal in line. Okay, settle in the pose. We're going to twist both sides. Take a breath in. As you exhale, twisting to the left, okay? If you can hook that elbow over your thigh, do so, but don't worry if you can't. You just have to hold it a little bit more with your core muscles. And then you can use the leverage, press the elbow into the thigh, and your gaze is either up at the ceiling or down at the floor. Keep the weight correct into your heels, okay? And then release under control, squeezing your core muscles, coming back to your original position. Take a breath in, twisting the other way. Okay, if you can hook your thigh with your elbow, do so. Forearms vertically up towards the ceiling. Gaze up to the top or straight down at the floor. Okay, breathe. And then nice and softly release. Arms out to the sides, up into raised arm pose. Okay, stretch everything away. Nice deep breath in as you exhale. Swallow dive into our forward fold, pull the belly in. Okay, soften the knees if you need to. Balance weight nicely over the feet. Okay, not too far back, not too far forwards. Okay, feel the release in those hamstrings. Breathe. And then bending the knees, walk your hands out, back into downward dog. Okay, breathe, soften, release, and then nice and slowly coming down into plank position. Okay, feet in line with your hips. Okay, bum slightly above the horizontal. Okay, press into your toes, heels push back, squeeze through your middle. Uh, pull your hands back towards your toes, push your toes forward. Okay, look down at the mat. Okay, pull your chin in so your spine's nicely straight. Breathe. Okay, nice breath in. Release the knees, chest, chin. Eight limb pose. Flatten everything down. And then come into sphinx pose. Elbows underneath shoulders, forearms parallel. Hands nicely spread. Okay, uh, try and bring the Gaze level, relax your low back, try not to bring any tension to it. And then focus on pressing down into your forearms, pulling your elbows back and pushing your hips forward. Okay, and try and release mid-spine up. Okay, tuck the chin in if you feel the alignment in your neck and it feels a little bit strained there. Tuck your chin in so your spine's nicely aligned. Okay, breathe a couple of times, softening the belly as you do so. It's a really lovely stretch on that front part of your abdominals. Final breath here. And then bending your right knee first of all. Try and bring the right knee up as far as you comfortably can or out to the side. Okay, toes pointing out. Try and bring your low leg in line into what's known as half frog pose. Okay, so bring everything back into line where we just were. Nice deep breath in, and then turn the head around to look at that bent leg side. Breathe. You should feel a lovely stretch, sort of front left abdominals, as well as the hip. Okay, final breath. Coming back round, straighten that leg. Swap over, bend the left, bring it out to the side. Low leg in line, toe pointing left. Bring everything back in line. And then turn the head to look down that side. You can sort of squeeze through that left-hand side of the abdominals, feel a stretch in the right. Soften the hip. Beautiful. Come back. Straighten everything up. Okay, so from this position here, okay, nice and steady, nicely balanced, press into your elbows, press into your knees, lift into a forearm plank. Okay, so 
nothing's on the floor between elbows and knees. Look down at the mat. Okay, if you want a little bit more, you can tuck your toes, come up into a forearm plank, squeezing through the middle, or come down on your knees. Okay, it's up to you. Okay, but wherever you are, come back onto your knees into this position and then bend the knees, flex the feet, squeeze your heels towards your uh, bum. Okay, feel the hamstrings. Okay, straighten everything out. Okay, release thighs, come to the floor, come back into our sphinx pose. Final breath here. And then bring your hands underneath your shoulders, coming up to cobra, keep your elbow squeezed in. As you exhale, bum back to heels. Okay, bum all the way back to heels. Okay, stretch your arms away into extended child pose. Okay, nice deep breath in, coming back up. This time, right leg comes forward between your hands into a low lunge. Okay, bring your uh, hands up onto your thigh. Okay, and then just feel this left hip flexor, make sure there's enough going on. If there isn't, just walk it out. Release your pubic bone forwards and down towards your heel. Okay, and then release uh, left arm up to the ceiling. So your left hip flexor is feeling this. Nice deep breath in. As you exhale, sway to the right hand side. Okay, feeling the hip flexor. Really engage, stretching all the way from your knee up to your fingertips pretty much on that side. Okay, come back. Okay, keep pressing the finger up to the ceiling. Keep releasing your pubic bone down and forwards. Okay, final breath in. Release that back down. Okay, both hands on your thighs. And then start to bring your bum back, straighten your front leg. You can bring your fingers to the floor, flex your feet into a hamstring stretch now once you're supported you can just gently bring your weight over that leg feeling it in the um, hamstring flex the feet as much or as little as you need okay just to adjust that feeling nice and slowly come forward again bring your left hand to the floor and then run a twist in low lunge okay so arms in line Okay, bring that hand back down, bring it on the inside of your knee, keep your foot nicely flexed, protects the knee, and then just gently push on it so you can feel it in your hip. Okay, press the uh, pubic bone forward and down as you do so. Okay, the other thing you can do, uh, <coughs> don't do this if it's a problem with your knees, but is you, if you bend your, that rear foot and grab hold of it, wherever it is, and then just gently sort of pull it towards your a bum, you can feel it in the top of your thigh, obviously. Take it easy. Just breathe as you feel. Release nice and slowly. Bring your hand down to the floor, coming back to where we started. Release that right leg down into tabletop. Left foot comes forward okay, into our low lunge the other side. Okay, Come up and feel the balance in your torso between front and back. Walk that foot out a little bit further if you want some more in your hip flexor. Okay, <clears throat> so everything feels nicely supported. Press down through that foot, that knee, press into that foot. If, when you press into that knee, you'll feel the hip flexor far up. Release the same arm, so right arm up to the ceiling. Nice deep breath in, gently sway to that left hand side. Okay, feeling it all the way up this side as you come over, don't overdo it. Feel it, breathe. Come back, okay. Straighten that leg, or straighten that arm up to the ceiling rather. Breathe, soften either side to the bod. Okay, nice and slowly come back down. Okay, just feel everything. Everything's still quite nice. Bring your hands to the floor, right hand to the floor. Bring your other arm up, twisting round, arms in line. Okay, bring that hand down the inside of the left knee. Remember, keep the foot flexed to support the knee. Gently press out, feeling in your hip. Come back, hands either side, bum back to heels, come in line. Okay, so we come back in line, flexing or straightening that front leg, supporting yourself, pressing into that hip flexor and 
hamstring rather. Breathe, soften, release. Coming forward. Okay, back into low lunge. Okay, and then bring your foot back into tabletop, tuck the toes, hands to the top of the mat, come back up into downward dog. Okay, <coughs> from downward dog, bend your knees, okay, bring your weight to your left hand, right hand, okay, bring it to the left hand side of that left leg, okay, and try and look under your left armpit, okay, and come back into what you regard as your normal downward dog position, okay, feeling that twist in your torso, don't overdo it, bend your knees if it's a little bit too much for your hamstrings, okay, release, swap over, Okay, bring the weight to the right hand, grab hold, left hand either side. Okay, look out underneath your right armpit. Straighten the legs if your knee feels right, bum to the ceiling. Soften knees, come back into uh, downward dog. Okay, as we inhale, I'm going to come down into plank. Okay, nice and slowly, shoulders above uh, backs of hands. Chin tucked in, spine's nicely straight, okay, adjust the position if it's not quite right. And then look down at the mat, breathe, press into your toes, heels pushing back, squeeze your bum. Breathe, holding plank. Okay, we're going to flow between plank and downward dog a couple of times. Okay, but we're going to sort of arch the back, try and come into a bit of a cat curl. So start to lift your chest, okay, come up onto your tippy toes, squeeze through your midriff, okay, and as you've curled your back like a cat, release your heels backwards and come back into your downward dog. Nice and slowly roll forward into plank once more. Bum down just above horizontal, recovering or returning to position. Once more, pressing, lifting chest up onto your tippy toes, squeeze through the middle, arch your back and then release, keeping that arch, release heels to the floor coming down to <coughs> your natural downward dog and then breathing coming forward rolling forward into plank once more holding breathing final time lifting chest up on tippy toes curling the spine and then releasing back heels to the floor and then release your Knees to the floor and come into a kneeling position on the mat. <coughs> Holding for a couple of moments, nice straight spine, hands on thighs, relax the position, breathe. And then bring your hands around behind you, intertwine the fingers, press the backs of the hands towards the floor, straighten your arms. Nice deep breath in. As you exhale, we're going to bow our forehead to the floor as we lift our hands up. Now you can release your bum from your heels if it allows you to bring your head to the floor. Try and roll on your head towards the crown. Not too much weight on your head. Keep most of it over your knees. Lift your hands. Hold and breathe. Come back the same way. Keep the hands lifted away from your low back. Okay, once you're nicely upright, take a breath in and then twist to the left hand side. Use the exhale to twist. Inhale, come back. Exhale, twist the other way. Inhale, come back. And then release into <coughs> hands to the floor. Come forward, cross the ankles, sit back over and come into a sitting position on the mat. Okay, push the heels away, flex the feet, spread the toes, backs of the knees towards the floor. Nice deep breath in, arms up to the top. Take a breath in. As you exhale, open the arms, twist to the right hand side. Keep your, both your buttocks pushed to the floor, keep the legs engaged. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, open the arms, twist the other way. Inhale, come back up. Okay, bring the, intertwine the fingers into Kali Mudra, so four fingers pointing forward, thumbs crossed over the back. Okay, I'll sit this way, actually, it's easier for you to see. 
Okay, so pressing into your sit bones, lifting through the crown, pushing your fingers away. Okay, uh, hold the position, feel the extension in your shoulder blades. Release uh, about halfway back, okay, but ho however far back your uh, core muscles can cope with. Keep your arms horizontal. Nice deep breath in. As you exhale, squeeze the twist to the left-hand side. Okay, keep your arms straight. Hold the twist, feel the squeeze, feel those core muscles that you've engaged. Inhale, come back. Use the breath, exhale, squeeze to the right. Keep the arms straight, hold the squeeze. Inhale, come back. Exhale, squeeze to the left. Inhale, come back. Exhale, squeeze to the right. Inhale, come back, one more either way. Exhale, squeeze to the left. Inhale, come back. Exhale, squeeze to the right. Inhale, come back. Okay, nice deep breath in, lift up. Okay, now keep um, uh, your chest lifted. Tilt from the hips, push the fingers forward. Okay, until your hamstrings tell you to go no further. Okay, once they're nicely engaged, hold, take a breath in. And then nice and slowly come back. We're going to go all the way to the floor. Okay, so concentrate, focus, keep pressing the arms away. Squeeze through your middle as you curl the low back to the floor under control. Once your first vertebrae hits, roll back under control, lifting your arms vertically upwards as you come back, pushing the fingers to the ceiling. Okay, uh, as you inhale, keep the arms coming up and over your head. Okay, stretch everything away. Nice deep breath in. As you exhale, arms come up. Bend the knees, lift the feet off the floor. Okay, lift head and shoulders, squeeze knees towards head. And push your fingers between your legs in this position here, okay? Inhale, come back. Feet to the floor. Exhale, lift knees, lift head, shoulders, squeeze everything between, hold the squeeze. Inhale, come back, feet to the floor. Stretch everything away as you inhale, exhale, knees lifted, head, shoulders up, squeeze everything between. Inhale, come up, feet to the floor, stretch everything away, and then release your arms. Bring them to your knees, gently squeeze your knees into your chest. Flex your feet. And then bring your feet to the edges of the mat. Okay, arms down by your sides. And then windscreen wiper your knees, left and right. Okay. Um, and as you come across the middle, squeeze your abdominals, press your low back into the floor. So, it really feels as though you're pressing your low back. Release it as you come to one side. Squeeze and press as you come across. Release it as you go the other way, okay? So squeeze your abdominals. Release as your knees flow from side to side. Keep that going. Keep releasing, keep flowing. Come back to center. Okay, lift knees off the floor. <clears throat> okay, lower legs parallel. Hold. Nice deep breath in. As you do so, squeeze knees towards head. Hold the squeeze. Okay, gently roll your lower back off the floor, helping that squeeze. Feel it right in your lower sort of abdominal area. Release, okay. And then keeping your legs bent 90 degrees, bring your heels to the floor. Inhale, knees back, squeeze, knees towards heads, hold, squeeze, release, heels, tickle the floor. Final time, squeeze, knees back, release to the floor. And then relax, straight, straighten your legs, <clears throat> arms down by your sides. Come into fine relaxation, savasana, tuck your chin in, <clears throat> close your eyes, and then feel or scan your body, so scan everything uh, in contact with the floor, so from the back of your head, 
shoulder blades, backs of the arms, uh, upper back, mid back, low back, buttocks, backs of the legs to your heels, and then across the soles of your feet to your tootsies, and then top of foot, ankles, shins, knees, thighs, pelvis, abdomen, chest, neck and face. Feel the muscles in your forehead, eyes, cheeks, mouth, neck. Relax them all as you feel them. And then focus on your breath and your breathing. Breathing in and out through your nostrils. Okay, follow the breath like a wave. So imagine the wave crashing onto the floor as your belly presses to the ceiling. Your chest expands, reaching the peak of your inhale. And then imagine the wave receding as your chest falls, ribs contract, squeezing belly, diaphragm towards the floor and then releasing as the wave comes in again as you inhale. Wave recedes as you exhale. As you breathe in, relax the muscles away from the bones, bones resting heavy on the floor. Inhale, relax. Exhale, relax. Okay, bring your attention back to the here and now. Take a steady breath in. As you do so, wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, and bring your arms up over your head. Give your body a lovely long stretch, pointing the toes, flexing the feet, and then very slowly bending your knees, roll over to one side or the other. Then using your hand, press yourself back up to a comfortable sitting position. Sitting up nice and tall, come into Prayer Mudra, we'll close the class by chanting Om once. Closing your eyes, pressing into your sit bones, lifting through the crown of your head. Take a nice, steady, deep breath in. Namaste. Thank you very much.